hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be drawing a simple link mechanism and we have also been given a question which says a crank o a rotates about center o first of all i want you to know that simple link mechanism comprises mainly of a crank of a crank that is this o a and also it comprises of a shaft which is also called the connecting rod at times you can call it the connecting rod or the shaft those are the two things that a crank mechanism comprises mainly of all right so now we have been given a question which says a crank o a rotates about center o while the slider moves along a straight line so the crank o a for the crank the crank is always moving in a rotational motion all right why the slider the slider that is the connecting rod always move to and fro in the sense that it moves in a straight line okay as seen in the question so they said the slider moves along a straight line passing through o we are asked to draw the locus of point n that is actually the question that is that is the simple link mechanism question here so what this actually means according to the question and according to the video you can see right on the screen it means that this particular question we have been given the angle here to be what 60 degree that is we have to divide this circle into 12 equal parts at times you can also divide it into eight equal parts it, had it been the angle given here was 45 degree you know you have to divide your circle into eight equal parts all right but why we divide it into 12 equal parts in most cases is because it is always easier because to draw your locus because you get more points while drawing you get more points all right so now the slider this is the crank all right this is the crank so they asked us to draw the locus of point n so we have been giving point n to be here we are drawing the locus as this particular crank is moving the locus of the point okay so this is point a and this is point n while it moves like this we have been told the direction is like this that is anti-clockwise why it moves like this where it is also going to be that is the length this is a n this is 40 millimeter right so when the slider gets to this point the length again that is we are going to measure 40 millimeter again and we are going to do like that for one complete revolution that is for the 12 points okay so now first of all let's start with the drawing let's start with the drawing you get to understand it better why we draw so they asked they told us that in the question it is a n is what o a is 30 millimeter o a is 30 millimeter so we have to draw our circle first pick 30 millimeter we are going to draw our circle which is going to be okay of this is diameter of 60 millimeter then we are going to be dividing that circle into 12 equal parts okay we are going to divide it into 12 equal parts okay. now you can also make use of the compass method whichever one is easier for you to make use of but for this video i'll be making use of this set square method all right it kind of makes our work work monitor okay so now we have been told that oa according to the question okay this is oa and we are going to thicken out oa there are actually three parts we are going to be thickening out in this in this video we are going to thicken out this crank oa the sliding rod or the connecting rod and we are going to thicken out also the locus so other lines are going to be made what are, are going to be made thin so we are going to extend this also that is this line okay we are going to extend this line towards our right hand side okay now we have been given line what line a b to be of what 100 millimeter 100 millimeter so from here i'm going to pick 100 millimeter this is 100 millimeter okay this is 100 millimeter so this is point b this is point b we are going to draw the straight line 
let's draw a straight line like that okay so along this line we have been given a point n which is what 40 millimeter so i'm going to pick 40 this is 40 okay so this is my point n okay let's label here m1 this is a1 okay this is b1 okay because we are going to be having 12 more points for a 12 for a complete revolution okay so now we want to move straight to drawing the locus we have represented exactly the diagram in the question so we want to move straight to drawing the locus of point n okay so we are going to transfer it to the other points all right so now we are going to continue with point a2 this is point a2 we have been told it is rotating like this so we are going to pick another length of what of 100 millimeter so i've picked 100 millimeter on my compass i'll just place it at this point here okay then strike an arc on this line okay so this is going to be my point b2 okay this is b2 so i'm going to join this with my ruler i'll join this with my ruler making use of thin lines so from this point i'm going to measure 40. from here i'm going to measure 40 okay so that is going to be n2 like that so this is our first point this is our second point i'll do the same for point a3 this is a3 okay place my compass here strike on this line like this this is b3 okay then join i'll join this you have to make use of thin lines so you wouldn't get confused because the lines are going to be getting many as soon as you do the 12 points okay so this is 40 millimeter okay this is 40 millimeter this is my entry so now i'll do also this this is a4 okay this is a4 from here i'll strike an arc like this okay then this is b4 so from this point i'll draw my straight line like this okay so i'll measure 40 millimeter on that line on that line this is m4 okay you can actually be making use of your protractor to pick the points on the line that is this point while using your your compass to do this but for the purpose of this video i'm going to be making use of my ruler to make it more explanatory okay so this is b5 okay this is b5 and this is a5 so we are going to pick 40 this is 40 here yeah. okay this is 40 and this is our m5 so we are going to do exactly the same thing for the remaining parts all right this is a6 pick this thing so these two these two arcs are actually meeting almost at the same point that is b4 and and a6 okay so that's why i said you should make use of your your what of your thin lines okay so you don't get confused along the line So this is our M this is our N6 okay and the last point which is here so we are going to draw the 12 points as we have done okay now what is next for us to do is to actually connect those points okay we can actually do that making use of our French curve or our flexible ruler for the purpose of this video I'm going to be making use of my French curve to do that okay so this is the locus of point N given right here if you found value in this video please don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button and share with your friends that might need it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video peace